I think it's safe to say this will be the first and last video where I'm kind of on time with whatever's trending on YouTube. Unless this is put up late, which I wouldn't be surprised, so. Ha! <laughs> Love being on brand! Anyway, I'll see you guys on Instagram to send me some of your assumptions about me. It could have been when you first saw me, what you think now. And I just have to say, I don't know why I thought this was a good video idea, because I'm scared. I feel like I'm gonna get my feelings hurt, and I don't want that to happen. But for the sake of entertainment, we're gonna do it. So, let's get started. Already off the bat, I... <laughs> I'm already uncomfortable. I see so many of you guys thinking that I am this freak in the sheets, that I am not as innocent as I may seem. But then on the other side of it, you guys think I'm the actual Virgin Mary. So I just have a question. How am I giving out both of these energies at the same time? Honestly, I'm a private person, so I'm not going to tell you the answer. But I just think that was really funny. All right, moving on. You were popular in high school. If you mean irrelevant, yeah, I was. Yeetus, fetus, deletus. Um, agreed. That you don't date a lot. You try to have meaningful relationships. I love that you guys are all over the place with my love life and my sex life, whether it's there or whether it's non-existent. But this I will say is very true. I um, get disappointed a lot by hetero men. Unfortunately, so I just don't I don't talk to them. I don't put up with them Send me a good hetero and we'll be set for life. <laughs> you don't have many friends. Sorry. That was harsh I love you <laughs> um, I mean that's kind of true. I'm a very big believer on the whole I rather have four quarters than a hundred pennies also. I don't have the energy to um, Put up with a lot of people like that's a lot of work. So I'm good with my little close-knit friends. You're a Hufflepuff how soft do you think I am? I am a Ravenclaw, thank you very much. You're very smart, you're really smart and you're just looking about it. The thing is I am pretty smart. During high school I was a 4.0 student. I lettered in academics, crazy I know. I just happen to have the dumbest moments and it just so happens to happen on the internet for all of you guys to see it, so. Huh, that's fun. You actually like coffee, you just bitch about it for views. Girl, I wish, I wish. There are so many days where I'm like, I need to pick me up, but coffee just makes me want to vomit. The smell, the taste, some of it's okay, but majority wise, I hate coffee. You seem like the type to be a total bitch when you first meet someone. You have or had many stuffed animals. I was that girl. I was not horse girl. I did not have an emo face. I was the stuffed animal girl. I have a hair on my face and it's bothering me so much. I feel it. I want it. I don't have it. I'm sad. I remember being in middle school and there was this girl that I, we had like a weird competition. I didn't want it. She always started it and I for some reason followed suit. And we had this weird competition with Webkins because I came to school one day saying that I finally got one. I was so excited. And she was like, oh, well, I have two. <laughs> so then obviously I was like, well, I need to get more because I can't let her win. Win what? I don't know. So it became a competition and like that was kind of petty of me, but yeah, that was me. I had so many stuffed animals. I have a couple still on my bed. I have my top top pillow. I have scrump from Lilo and Stitch and I have a little giraffe from when I was like 10. You only post on Insta now because someone is threatening your family. That is so mean. <laughs> You guys said you wanted me to post more, so I'm trying to do it for you. I'm trying to feed my kids. I'm trying to be a good mom. You're a perfectionist. Yeah, unfortunately. You're low-key scared to post a cover. But also, I don't know how to make a cover. I don't really know where I would start. Like, you guys hear me sing in my videos, so it's not that big of an issue to sing, but it is, I, I don't know. Your bias is Jimin. Bias record because that, ooh, that boy hurts me in so many ways. I actually have both of my biases in my phone right now. Hello! <laughs> this is funny, this is right by each other. You are a liberal. You're a Trump supporter because you live in Arizona. <laughs> Oh my god. I can say I'm definitely not a Trump supporter. I guess I'm a liberal? I don't know. I don't really know what I'm classified as. I just want peace on earth. So where does that put me? Let me know. You low-key sniff your bread when no one is watching. What does that even mean?
disgusting! You're having a hard time in your personal life the last few months and you just survived at the peak of it. All I have to say is 2019 better be a good year um, and everybody better stay healthy because I am not going through all that again. Wait, why are there multiples of this? Oh my god, you guys think I have a man and I'm hiding him. Bold of you to assume that um, I am capable of doing that. Like I said earlier, a lot of hetero men have disappointed me so I don't have one in my possession. That sounds weird. I think if I was dating somebody though, I'd be pretty private about it, but I would also tell you, I don't know. We'll cross that bridge if we ever eventually get there. <laughs> you look like you sleep with socks. Who the hell sleeps with socks on? I don't. You have really long toes. Kind of, yeah. I just have really long feet in general. I honestly have both feet. Tall. Yeah. <laughs> How tall do you guys think I am? Take a guess. Think about it, let it marinate. All right, I'm gonna tell you that you're wrong. I am five, seven and a half, five, eight, somewhere around there, so I am just a big, tall building with boats for feet. That's me. It's hard to make you angry. That's very true. I don't get angry a lot. I know with my best friends that I've known since junior high, I think they've only seen me angry maybe once or twice in our friendship. That's it. The only person that can really get me angry is my sister, but I think that's more annoyed than angry and that's like a sister thing, you know? You had a secret fan account when you were younger slash now. I wish I did. Honestly, I've thought about making a side Twitter and just letting it all out, but I have no time for that. I did have a <laughs> One Direction Tumblr account with my best friend when we were like freshmen in high school. Um, that's deleted now though. So don't go looking for it because it's non-existent. You're great at doing your makeup. Not really. Honestly, my motto with makeup is I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna hope for the best. I really wish I was better with it, but ugh, it's too hard. Not saying it in a mean way at all, I love you, but I do feel like you're low-key petty in your personal life and I don't even know you. Um. So then obviously I was like, well, I need to get more because I can't let her win. I mean, I can be, I guess. Like, that's normal, right? I feel like you had to grow up fast as a defense mechanism to a rough childhood. T. Yikes. You have an art piece somewhere in your house that says live, laugh, love. How basic do you think I am? No, I refuse. I worked in retail and I saw those signs every day. I don't know, it grew a hatred for them honestly in my heart, so I will never have one of those in my house ever. You would be really fun high. Honestly, this could go two ways. I've never been high before, right? So I could either be super duper fun and just totally crazy, or I could be the girl that's like crying in the corner, being like, let's call 911 because I don't know what's happening to me. I feel like I'd be more of the second option. I think you're someone who's too self-aware and it causes a lot of problems within. <laughs> we love a good read. Smart spender. 100%. I am a bit of a penny pincher and I'm not afraid to admit that. You've never broken a bone. I've never broken a bone. Knock on wood. Um, I don't plan on doing that anytime soon either. You clap at the end of movies. How white do you think I am? I don't clap at the end of movies. I don't clap when a plane lands. However, I am going to Florida pretty soon and that might be me because I'm petrified. <laughs> I love you and your videos for real, but I think you sugarcoat your opinion so it seems like you like things more. I totally see where you're coming with that because I do realize with music and artists that it's a very personal thing for a lot of people and I never want to be disrespectful about it. However, I've been working personally on how to find a good in-between. I'm finding it. It's a little hard. It's a little scary in like stan Twitter or stan culture because you can't really have an opinion. And even if you do have an opinion, no matter what, it's wrong. I don't know. It's a hard life, but I think I'm figuring out a balance, so don't you worry. Might be too personal, but you don't talk to your dad. Ha 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 ha. Oh, yeah. You low-key don't like wearing a lot of makeup. True. I honestly feel like I look better without makeup, but I think that's because I don't know how to do makeup. <laughs> that when I try to do a lot of makeup, it just doesn't look good. So if anybody wants to uh, doll me up, let me know. You have a tiny little man in a jar and you call him Gunther. <laughs> what? Isn't Gunther the guy from Friends? Huh. So that's what he's been doing all these years. Good to know. No, I don't have a Gunther, but I have a Charlie. 
If you want to know, his name is Charlie. The only straight white person I'll forever stand. Fuck off, Noah Sen Titty stands. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but here I am. And then the big one, my sexuality. Honestly, okay, so T, right? I figured out why I give off this vibe and that's because I don't openly thirst over my men and that's because I don't know why, but as a fangirl, as a woman, <laughs> people just like totally discredit your opinion. I learned this very early on in my YouTube career that you're just labeled as a fangirl who's crazy, who only likes them for their looks. So when I'm doing my men, I guess I subconsciously try not to thirst. But then with my women, I'm like, yes, queen. Let me hype you up because you're like my best friend and I want you to thrive. So yeah, no wonder it's a little bit um, <laughs> questioning. So yeah, I figured that out like the other day. So I'm glad we brought this up so I could talk about it. Like if you will let me thirst over my men without discrediting my opinion, oh girl. I don't know if you guys want that. My hetero side is very scary. She's very wild. She's very naughty. Like recently my hetero has been thirsting. Let's see, who do I thirst over? Um, Harry Styles has been my longest one probably. Michael B. Jordan, a man. John Krasinski, which is really weird because he's like my father and Emily Blunt is my mother, but like he's a daddy and a dad. Um, oh, my BTS babes, hello. And probably my weirdest one, this has been pretty recently. Um, I don't know if you guys know who Smosh is on YouTube. Probably do, but I don't really watch Smosh. I watch more of the Smosh Pit and Shane from there. Oh my lord, he is so funny, so sarcastic. I don't typically go for blondes. Like, I really do have a type. My type's usually like dark haired, very artistic, sarcastic, funny. That's usually my vibe. I don't know what else I can say. I'm a hetero mess. That's all. All right, so that was it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. It was something a little bit different. We kind of got to do something fun and sit and talk and I hope I answered any questions you may have. I probably did it. But I'm going to say that I did. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you in the next one.